50 years na ano na. Simula nung nag barker ako. Huwag pala ako nung mga 1817. Okay lang. 1864. Ako nag barker nung umpisa. Nung natigil na ako nung nag lockdown. Nung March 2. Doon lang natigil. Doon lang natigil. Grabe. Sir, what's up? Sama natin si Doc Mark. Hi Doc. Punta po kami ng Barangay Pansol para po mag-distribute ng food packs, relief food, at Bibles. So, sa mga jeepney drivers ng UP, UP Katipunan, yan, nandyan po silang lahat na pa. Nandito po tayo ngayon sa Barangay Pansol. So far, natapos na po yung kaninang session at meron po tayong susunod na session pa dahil po iba-ibang federasyon po itong mga jeepney drivers. So let's continue to pray, let's continue to give, and if you want to go, okay lang. Pero ngayon, hindi lang namin encourage dahil nga po sa distancing at mga ano. Pero there's so many other ways to bless din po. Ako po pala si Kagawa Dandy Flores ng Barangay Pansol ay lubos na nagpapasalamat syempre sa Uh, ipinaabot na tulong sa ating mga uh, mamamayan lalong lalo na po yung mga driver po natin ng UP Katipunan sana po ay eh, patuloy nyo po kami tulungan para po maiabot ang pagmamahal ng ating Panginoong Jesus sa mga taong nangangailangan. Ngayon po if you would like to give you can give and you can look at uh, your screens na lalabas po dyan sa screen kung saan kayo pwede po mag donate Pwede rin po kayong mag-donate in cash or in kind. So, lahat po ito aabot sa ating mga jeepney drivers. And uh, hindi po ito yung huli. May mga gagawin pa po tayo. And uh, salamat po. Maraming salamat po. Thank you po sa pagtulong natin sa ating mga kababayan ngayong pandemya. Salamat po sa inyong lahat. Ang tanging Diyos na sinasamba Pagkapangyarihan Siyang karunungan Tanging buhay Pagkapangyarihan Siyang karunungan Tanging buhay
Hi everyone, good afternoon. Welcome to our 4 p.m. online service. This is Victory Katipunan, and we exist to honor God and make disciples. If you just attended for the very first time, we welcome you. Siguro, tinag kayo ng relatives nyo, ng friends nyo, ng classmates nyo. Uh, you are welcome in our online service. Just a few reminder, meron din po tayong services that's happening uh, every Sunday, 10 a.m. Aside from this 4 p.m. service. And also, we have our youth vidcast that happens every Friday, 4.30 p.m. You can visit Every Nation Campus Katipunan Facebook page. Uh, kung meron po kayong mga anak, high school or college, please do tell them that they can attend our vidcast every Friday. We want you to know also that we are continuing our Kamusta Katip Zoom Fellowship after the service. It's a time for us to pray together, catch up lang tayo sandali uh, with uh, what's happening in our life. So we'll be sending a link after the preaching of the word sa comment section. Please do join us in that Zoom fellowship. And ngayong hapon, we're excited to worship God together. And uh, let's sing the songs declaring who He is, being grateful of what He has done for us for the rest of the week. And uh, let's worship Him. Hello Church, I know that you're all excited to worship God today, so why don't we sing and lift our voices and worship the one who is most worthy of all our praise.
That's what we declare today, Lord, that your love is greater. You have proven us your love by dying in our place. We give you praise and we give you honor. At this point, we'll be partaking the communion together. And please prepare your juice and bread. When we talk about communion, we are remembering what Christ has done for every one of us. He died in our place. He came to save us. He came to offer forgiveness and freedom from the bondage of sin. That's why He willingly gave Himself as a sacrifice before God His Father so that we can be redeemed from our sin. Today, we can experience that freedom and forgiveness as we put our trust in Him. That's what Jesus came to do to forgive us and to set us free as we put our faith and trust in Him. And as we partake the bread and the juice that we have prepared as a symbol of uh, remembering what Christ has done for us, let me read 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 to 26. It says here, for I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Verse 26. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let's pray. God, thank you for sending your son Jesus to die in our place. You made a way for us to have a relationship with you. A relationship that's full of forgiveness, a relationship that's full of freedom. And right now, we can live a meaningful life 
because of what Christ has done. Let's get our bread and juice. Jesus, thank you for your body that was broken so that we can be made whole. Thank you also for the blood that was shed on the cross so that we can be forgiven. We put our faith and trust in you. Let's partake of the bread. Let's drink from the cup. Let's be in an attitude of worship as we continue to declare the love that God has for us in Christ Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, you are continue to declare your goodness Lord in our lives we say your love is greater it's greater than our fears greater than our pain greater than the things that we are experiencing this season we receive that love this afternoon in Jesus name we pray amen and amen we have an announcement 
uh, we are announcing to you the Tahanan album by Victory Worship. And na-release po ito last August 14. It's an all Tagalog uh, Tahanan album. Okay, uh, if you haven't checked it out, please visit uh, or check uh, Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube Music. The album features 10 of our most loved Victory Worship songs and have released six brand new music videos on YouTube. So please check that out. This year, Victory Worship is creating music that reminds us of hope and strength that we find when we seek refuge in God's presence. It's no accident that these fresh versions were created in the midst of a very challenging season for us all and is a creative reflection of us having to worship passionately inside our homes. Please do grab a copy and check it out. Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube Music. For our giving, let me read 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. It says, Here, God loves a cheerful giver. It means God is pleased when we give. God is honored when we give. And as we offer what we have right now, what we prepared, our tithes, our offering, and even the resources that we have planned to give, my prayer is that God would continue to honor our act, our response in this act of giving. Let's pray. God, thank you for you are our provider. We continue to look to you. Ikaw yung uh, nagbibigay sa amin ng mga pangailangan namin. Whatever desire that we are believing for right now, thank you that we will grant it by faith. And uh, yung iba sa amin, yung need, I pray God na mag-provide ka. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, for instruction, you can give by choosing among our simple, easy, and secure giving options. You can give via debit card, credit card, and GCash by visiting victory.org.ph slash give. And if you would like to give also via PayPal, online banking, and direct deposit, uh, you can go to Victory Missions or Real Life by visiting everynation.org.ph. You can also check out bit.ly slash katipunan online giving. And great news po, open ulit ang uh, office natin at Regis 5th floor. So today, August 23 from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. until next week, August 30, you can give your tithes or offerings and your donations. And ngayong hapon, I have the privilege to introduce to you the one who will be sharing the word, Pastor Mike Gayatao. Let's welcome him. Maraming salamat, Pastor Jeng. Hello, Victory Katipunan. Welcome once again sa ating Sunday online worship services. Just to remind everybody, we have two time slots, 10 o'clock and 4 p.m. And by the way, see you later after the service sa ating Zoom Hangout, bit.ly slash kamusta katip. Yan. Grabe, if this is your first time, ito po ay ika-13th week na natin. Journeying through the Book of Romans, ang title po ng ating serye, the gospel explained and really we've been you know really literally taking time you know explaining to everybody what the gospel means and uh, if there's one phrase one statement that i want to leave with you na gusto kong hindi niyo makalimutan regarding the gospel is the phrase so much more repeat after me and say so much more type it down below so much more. Parang yung TV commercial, but wait, there's more. Or the best deal ever. Mga naalala ko dati yung uh, exchange gift na nagdala ka ng parang luma, walang kwentang gift. Tapos yung nakuha mong gift, yung pinakamaganda at pinakamalaki ng party. How many of you know that that's so much more? A classic so much more is an NBA trade noong 1996. Pinagpalit po ng Charlotte Hornet si Kobe Bryant para kay Vladi Divac. Nako, that's so much more kasi that changed the atmosphere ng NBA. Biruin mo, 20 years buong karir ni Kobe Bryant nagstay siya for the, for the Lakers at nanalo sila ng 5 NBA championships. Sa history, eto matinding so much more. No mga 17th, 14th century, 
uh, Ghana traded gold to Morocco for equal weights of salt. Can you imagine that? I cannot believe it. I cannot imagine it. Isang sako ng ginto para sa isang sako ng asin. That is so much more best deal ever. In a way, parang ganun din po ang gospel. It, oh, it is also so much more than what I have given up and surrender. I mean, just in my own life, naalala ko po, nung unang basis ko nag-church, nag-attend ng, nagbasa ng Bible, nag-attend ng Christian church, gusto ko lang naman maging masaya eh. Pero little did I know, that was the beginning of God changing me and moving in and through my life. Uh, looking back in my life, naalala ko yung mga prayer ko lang dati was the forgiveness for my own sin, a specific sin struggle at that time. Pero again, little did I know that God can forgive all of my past, present, and future sins. And not only that, He has also given me His righteousness and so much more. Plus, 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 plus. The gospel we received in Jesus Christ is so much more than our presenting needs. Yan po ang pag-uusapan po natin ngayon. More ng so much more facets of the gospel. For our scripture reading, we'll be reading Romans chapter 8, just two verses, verses 24 and 25. Sabi po sa Bible, for in this hope we were saved. But hope that is seen is not hope at all. Who hopes for what they have already have? But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. I'd like to ask everybody to bow your heads with me. Let's open with a short word of prayer. Panginoon, salamat po that you said in your word that those who hope in you will renew their strength. Lord, that is our prayer. Lord, renew our strength today. Go ahead and say that in your own word and say, Lord, renew my strength, renew my hope. Thank you, Lord, for your hope that does not disappoint. We receive this promise. We pray for the preaching of the word. Salamat po, Lord, in Jesus' name. Somebody say, Amen. Ngayon po, today we will talk about two of the most common, and I also think two most the two most misunderstood, uh, but at the same time, two of the most important things that allows us to take on challenges that we are facing right now. Ang unang pag-uusapan po natin ay ang salitang hope. In an article from Psychology Today entitled The Remarkable Power of Hope by Joseph Halinan, uh, published on May uh, 14, uh, sorry, published on May 2014, uh, it is said, studies show that when we have it, meaning hope, when we have hope, it can carry us. When we don't have it, we can drown. Bakit drown yung ginamit niya? Kasi in that article, it mentioned an experiment conducted by a professor by the name of Kurt Teacher noong 1950s. Ang experiment po na ito ay para malaman kung sino po ang magsosurvive between po mga domesticated rats at mga wild rats kapag nilagay po sila sa isang container ng punong-puno po ng tubig. Resulta po, patay po pareho. So ang survival po ng mga rats ay pareho lang kahit mas magaling lumangoy yung mga wild rats. So medyo minodify po niya yung uh, uh, kanyang experiment. Hindi siya nakontento, gumawa siya ng bagong version. This time, nilagay po niya sa tubig yung rats, pero nung napansin niya na malapit na malunod, grabe no, morbid talaga to, inangat niya for a few seconds, then binalik sa tubig. Nagulat siya that all the rats survived, hindi lamang po in minutes. Kasi yung, yung unang batch, nilagay sa tubig, in minutes, patay lahat. Pero ito, nag, nabuhay hindi lamang in a few minutes, but they lasted for several days. Ano pong na-discover niya? Na-discover niya na kahit pa ulit-ulit na ibalik sa tubig, the rats survived dahil sa paulit-ulit na pag-rescue. Ang tawag niya doon, mga small interludes. He concluded that yes, there are obviously many differences between humans and rats, but one similarity stands out. Ano po yung sabi niya? We all need a reason to keep swimming. What keeps you swimming? What keeps us swimming? What is the reason that keeps us swimming? And that is hope. 
Sabi po ni Pastor Gilbert last week, last Sunday, sabi niya, as we face an unprecedented crisis of this magnitude, it is imperative that we look to the right place for hope and resolution. Ang sabi po niya, that is the gospel. I want to submit to you as we talk about the idea of hope is that I believe there's something wrong with how we understand hope. Unang-una, parang ang babaw na ang babaw na ng treatment natin sa kanya, no? parang binabato-bato na lang natin siya ng kung saan-saan. I hope to see you, hope to visit you. Pero parang we don't really mean it. Mean it. Meron tayong mga expressions like, I hope so, sana, sana all, sana lang, knock on wood, cross your fingers, uh, sana hindi ma-jink, sana hindi ma-usog. Uh, ano ba ang itsura ng hope natin ngayon? Di ba sa totoo lang naman, yung hope natin ngayon, it really carries the idea na mas hindi tayo sigurado kaysa sa sigurado tayo. We are more uncertain than we are certain of our hopes. Meron tayong gustong mangyari pero wala tayong guarantee. May mga desires tayo pero in reality, wala tayong confidence. And bottom line, our hopes, wala po siyang kasiguraduhan. Hindi po yan ang biblical hope. Hindi po yan ang definition na gusto natin ng hope. I'd like to take you to the book of Hebrews, chapter 6, verse 19. Sabi po ng writer, this hope, sabi niya, is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls. Uh, in that passage, sinabi po niya, God both gave His promise and His oath. And why oath? Promise and oath. Bakit oath? God Himself God bound himself so that those who received the promise could be perfectly sure that God will never, never, ever change his mind. Yan po ang biblical hope. Biblical hope, we can say, I know so because I can anchor my hope on God and, who, and, and on who God is. That we can be perfectly sure, be sure. With God, we have an, an, let me just say that one more time. With God, we have an ending hope. Apart from God, our hopelessness will not end. Alam mo sa totoo lang, even in this pandemic, we have an ending hope because we have God and because we have God, because we have the gospel, we have so much more. What else do we have with us? Pangalawang bagay po na gusto po nating pag-usapan na napaka-importante is the word salvation. It's so interesting that in Romans chapter 8, uh, Paul gives us past, the past, the present, and future references of our salvation. Uh, past, present, future senses of of our salvation. Ano pong ibig sabihin nito? Unang-una po, Paul talks about a salvation that we already receive. This is in reference to the past. Palagay ko, kabisado na natin to, alam na natin to. Sabi nga sa verse 24, for in this hope, we were saved. Start pa lang ng chapter 8. Sabi, pa, sabi na ni Paul, in established niya, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So, so, bottom line, based on his finished work, based on Christ's finished work, no more condemnation. Because of Christ, because of what Christ has done, we have been justified. Because of what Christ has done, wala na pong iba, all of us are saved. And I want us to remember that we cannot undo what Christ has done. Please somebody say Amen. But wait, there's more. Not just about the past, but there's even more. Secondly, Paul also talks about a salvation that we will receive. Obviously, this is in reference to the future. Romans 8.25 but, but if we hope for what we do not have, we wait for it patiently. Ano pong may expect po natin dito sa what we still do not have. Romans 8.18, sabi ni Paul, I consider that our present suffering, keyword here is, not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. 
not worth comparing. Malayong malayo daw. Kakaiba daw po yung uh, i-expect natin the glory that will be revealed. Kumbaga, it's a whole new, literally, a whole new world. Dito na siguro yung sinasabi ni Apostle Paul din na no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no, no mind has ever conceived what God has prepared for, for us. Somehow in, in Romans, God, uh, not God, but Paul gives us an idea, a picture. Verse 23, sabi niya, the redemption of our bodies. The redemption of our bodies carries the idea of deliverance, uh, liberation from all sickness, from all pain, from decay, and from, from all diseases. Hindi na daw po natin kailangan mag, maggamot at mag-alaksan, mag-painkiller at mag-omega painkiller. Hindi na kailangan nun. Because our bodies, uh, we, uh, because of the redemption of our bodies. Jesus himself uh, mentions in Matthew 13, 43, that you and I will shine like the sun. That's the kind of glory that we are to expect in the future. Ang tawag po dyan, glorification. What else can we expect? Verses 19 hanggang 23, for the creation waits in eager expectation for the, for, for the children of God to be revealed. Verse 20, for the creation was subject to frustration not by its own choice but by the will of the one who subjected it. Sabi po doon, in hope that the creation itself sabi po doon, will be liberated from its bondage to decay and brought into the freedom and also glory. Sa madaling salita po, the whole of creation will also be redeemed. The whole of creation will also be transformed. The whole of creation will also receive its salvation. So come to think of it, yung salvation po, the finished work uh, through Jesus Christ, because of His finished work, not only that we are to receive a personal salvation, but it is salvation that will also madadamay po ang buong mundo. Hindi lamang yung, hindi lang tayo, hindi lang pamilya natin, but ang buong mundo, the whole of creation. Somebody say, wow. That is amazing. That is so much more. That that was salvation in reference to the past and future. But wait, di pa ho tayo tapos. There is so much more. Paano naman po ngayon? Paano naman po ngayon sa present? Very important na maintindihan natin na ang common mindset ng mga panahon ni Apostle Paul when he was in, in Rome was almost like a compartmental mindset. Uh, uh, also what I can call yung pagkasunod-sunod or a consecutive mindset. Yung mindset po nila compartmental. Bakit? May suffering. Naintindi nila na may suffering pero may future reward. Pero para po siyang magkahiwalay ng suffering, future reward. At hindi lang yun. Consecutive. Magkasunod din dapat suffering muna. Tapos in the future, future glory. So, palagi ko sa totoo lang, ganun din tayo mag-isip. Ma, 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 paliwanag natin para mas maintindihan natin. Paul in a way was correcting this wrong mindset and if we do have that same mindset sana din po makorek kung meron tayong isang bagay na ayokong makalimutan nyo don't forget this if you're writing down, no, writing down notes write, it, write, write this down ito na po yun because of what Christ has done because of his finished work we can receive the glory of what is to come somebody say now let me just say that one more time. This is very exciting because of what Christ has done. We can receive the glory of what is to come. Now, yes, we're expected that we will receive it in the future. But guess what? There is also, we can receive that now in a sense that it has already been deposited in us. That glory is revealed in us. That glory is with us already as believers. It's already residing in our hearts to the, to the Holy Spirit. We possess, we already possess this glory. I mean, at least partially, di ba? Kasi, unang-una, invisible. Ni, ni pa naman natin nakikita. Nakikita natin yung mundo natin. You know, hindi pa siya transformed. But we receive it. Paano natin malalaman? O paano ito na express sa buhay natin ngayon? Hindi pa natin nakikita yung full glory but in a sense, again, we have that deposit. Kung dati ang pag-iisip ay hati-hati or compartmental or pagkasunod-sunod, ito parang imagine nyo, 
intermingled. Our past, present, and future salvation, that, that, that reference or that sense, it's intermingled. Sabi nga po ni Paul sa verse 30, those he justified, he also glorified. Those he justified, he also glorified. We have it now. The glory that is to come is with you. Tinan mo katabi mo, sabi mo, the glory that is to come is already in you, with you. And I believe this will definitely affect how we live our lives today. Maapektuhan po yung attitude natin sa Mar- mar- hindi lang maraming bagay sa lahat ng bagay Romans 8 verse 25 but if we hope for what we do not yet have sabi doon we wait for it patiently I mean if we have the same mindset of suffering then then someday one day tagal naman you know glory uh, I think we will wait for it impatiently but understand because the glory that is to be revealed again paulit ulit ko po to sinasabi is with us we are able to wait patiently and confidently because it's already with us because the glo- there's a deposit of that glory in our hearts as Christians we are able to wait con- patiently and confidently patiently and eagerly may kasamang may kasamang excitement Romans 8, 22 to 23. We know that the whole creation has been groaning. Somebody say groaning. Somebody say groaning. Uh, As in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. Not only so, but we ourselves. Let's talk about a bit yung salitang groaning. In a way, uh, groaning captures uh, a dual notion. It expresses both the pain of suffering and the longing for deliverance pain of suffering and longing of the de- imagine pagsamahin niyo yung dalawang dalawang emotions na, the pain of suffering and longing of deliverance our groanings in other words is is both a negative meaning suffering of this age and a positive because it 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 bring it it, it the, sabi nga natin the, it talks about the glory that is to come the glory in the age to come. Pagsamahin po natin yun. Whew, parang mahirapan ako doon. Ha? Do you long for something na wala kang idea? <laughs> na, na, nagde-desire ba kayo ng, na, meron, uh, uh, na, nagde-desire ba kayo ng isang, inaasam-asam nyo ba yung isang bagay na wala kang kamuwang-muwang? You and I long for something that you and I deeply desire you know, yung puso po natin aches for the fulfillment of that longing. Diba? We, we long for the love of a father because we, we know what it means to be rejected and abandoned by our own fathers. And you and I, meron po tayong desire to be loved and cared for by a father. You, you and I long, f- you know, you and I long to be with our family Kung meron tayong experience of being separated or we have this dread being away from them. You know, we long for fellowship, we long for community, we long for friendships. Sawang-sawa na tayo sa online virtual meetings kasi nag-lockdown na tayo for, I don't know, hundred more than 150 days, I think. Verse 24, But hope that is seen Sabi po doon, is not hope at all. Can I wanna, a hope, a hope that is seen is not hope at all. Sinasabi po ni Paul, kapag nakuha na daw po natin lahat ng prayers natin, lahat ng gusto natin, lahat ng healing natin, lahat ng provision natin, lahat ng blessings natin, hindi na daw tayo mag hope Sabi nga niya doon, who hopes for what they already have. But again, because the glory that is to be revealed is with us. Again, this is through Jesus Christ and the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Ito po yung maganda. Every time we face lack, yes, there's pain, yes, there's hardship, but at the same time, there's longing that it will be addressed. There's longing for that provision and abundance, the abundant blessing from God. 
there's grief in death. But at the same time, because of that glory being deposited in us, because of that future sense already in our hearts, every time we experience death, yes, we grieve, but at the same time, there is that longing or there is that anticipation, there is that eagerness, there is that looking forward to resurrection. Di ba parang pag nagkakasakit tayo, pag, pag, pag nangihina tayo, you know, the weakness of our own uh, bodies, our spirits, our souls, parang, uh, parang you groan. Uh, pero at the same time, that pain, that groaning also carries that eagerness, that anticipation that one day all of this will be gone. Somebody say amen. Somebody say thank you, Lord. That's why Jesus referred to his kingdom, God's kingdom, the already and not yet. Sabi nga natin, intermingled. Romans 8, 22 to 23, we know that the whole creation has been groaning as in pains of childbirth right up to the present time. Pag-usapan naman po natin, aside from the idea of groaning, the pains of childbirth. The pains of childbirth is a natural or a common picture or metaphor for hope. Kasi alam natin at naiintindihan natin, ito po yung pain with a joyful outcome. Yes, mahirap siya, but the expecting mother, merong excitement. Alam natin mahirap, alam niyang mahirap, pero she at the same time looks forward. Alam niyo, sa totoo lang, lahat nga ng nakikilala kong nanganganak, may pain, pero at the same time, they testify that as soon as the baby comes out, parang nawawala po yung sakit. Sana po nagbabago ang ating perspective, you know, having this sense or having this uh, deposit of glory in our lives. Na, nababago ang perspective natin in terms of our sufferings, our troubles, and our hardship. Hopefully, with this new with this new sense in our lives. Hindi na tayo maaawa sa sarili natin na every time we we every time we we face hardships, trials and sufferings or afflictions, naaawa tayo sa sarili natin, sabihin natin, bakit bakit ba ito Lord nangyayari sa atin? May may nagawa ba ako, Lord? Hindi na tayo hindi na tayo magagalit. You know? Kay Lord, hindi na natin bini-blame si Lord lagi. Sabi sa Bible, sabi in the same uh, Romans Romans chapter 8 we cry out to God saying, Abba, Father. Eh, galit ka kay Lord. Abba, Lord, ha? Abba, Abba. Abba, Lord, sobra ka na, Lord, ha? Hindi na tayo nagdududa saying, Lord, mahal mo ba ako? Ang hirap ng buhay ko. Baka, Lord, kinalimutan mo na ako. Hindi na natin may isip yun. Hindi na tayo magkukwit. Hindi na natin sasabihin, daming hardship, daming suffering, daming affliction, daming, daming trials. Ayoko na, I quit. Hopefully, we'll have that those change of perspectives at may erase na natin yung mga statements na yan. Because of the kingdom of God is both present and future, the now and the not yet. All our suffering gives us the promise of a meaningful outcome. In another verse, Paul said, For our light and momentary troubles, now, are achieving for us, or in other words, producing in us, preparing us. In other words, our light and momentary troubles are what? Getting us ready for something that is so much more in the future. Sabi nga po niya doon, an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. But he reminds, uh, in this passage, he also reminds us saying, fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Fixing our eyes not on the temporary, but fixing our eyes on the eternal things. Because the glory that is to be revealed is with us. Somebody say, now. In fact, in this slide, sabi nga natin, pati po yung creation, 
mareredeem. Pati po yung creation magbabago. Pati po yung creation masisave. I want to honor those. And I know a few of you from Victory Katipunan. I want to honor those who care for the environment. Yung, yung mga proponents of recycling, segregation of trash, renewable etc., energies, etc., etc. May mga kakilala din ako na nagbago na ng lifestyle. Hindi na sila gumagamit ng plastic straws. I honor you for that. But at the same time, understand, connected po sa pinag-uusapan natin, understand that it is because of God's glory being revealed Okay? that has been in yung na, na-reveal sa puso nyo. In other words, dahil sa revelation na yon, you share the future glory of creation being redeemed. Kaya nyo naiisip yung mga bagay. Ayan. Somebody say Amen. As we end, before we pray, I, wanna, I want us to go to Revelations chapter 21 verse 4 the promise in this passage sabi po dun, God will wipe away every tear from their eyes no more death no more mourning no more crying no more pain God added for the old order of things has passed away and sabi niya I will make everything new as we end I want us to understand that the most important promise in this passage, the most important promise of all in this chapter are not the promises of no more tears, no more pain, no more death, but the most important promise of all is being in the presence of God for eternity. Let us not make the mistake of looking forward for the promises of God more than the presence of God. Bow your heads with me. Let's close with a word of prayer. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Lord, thank you that you gave us both your promise and your oath. And Lord, we ask that you renew that sense of hope, Lord, in our lives today. Thank you that as we put our hope in you, we could be perfectly sure that you will do what you said. We receive that hope today. Renew my hope today. Lord, we put our hope, we put our trust in you. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, salamat din po for the salvation we have received and for the salvation we have yet to receive. And Lord, salamat din po for the pain of suffering and the longing for deliverance. Thank you that you are suffering with us. Thank you that we are not alone in this suffering. And Lord, thank you because of your finished work. Thank you that we have received not just what you've promised in the past, but we've also received the promise of our future salvation. And because and because of that, salamat din po for that deposit of glory in our lives. That we, are to, that we are able to face our difficulties, our sufferings, our pain, and at the same time, have a groaning of eagerly waiting and longing for our deliverance. Lord, we receive that today. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. One more prayer item before we sing this song. I want to ask you to bow your heads with me, close your eyes. If you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, if you want to be set free from any form of condemnation, if you want to, if you want to be, be uh, receive forgiveness of all your sins, not just not just that specific sin, but your past, present, even your future sins, I wanna I wanna invite you to receive the finished work of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, just close your eyes, pray this prayer with me, and say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for your grace. I thank you for the forgiveness of all my sins. Lord, thank you. I invite you to be Lord and Savior of my life from this day on, and Lord, for the rest of my life. I receive it today. Thank you, Lord, for your finished work. 
in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Amen. If you pray that prayer, I want you to know that you made the best decision of your life today. Before we dismiss, I want us to worship God. So let's worship Him today. God, Lord, we worship you, we honor you, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to leave with you our application. I believe God has given us the grace to wait patiently and eagerly. And really, it is, bottom line, it is only to the work of the Holy Spirit. Kaya po natin to nagagawa. What does this mean for us to wait patiently? Immediately after this verse, interestingly, Paul talks about sa Romans 8, 26 to 27, the Holy Spirit Himself. Sabi po sa Bible, in the same way, the Spirit Himself helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through worldless groans. And He who searches our hearts because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. Sa buhay po natin, God's calling us to persevere in prayer. This is the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Sabi nga po sa Lord's Prayer, Lord, teach us how to pray. This is then how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, 
hallowed be your name. Sabi po doon, let your kingdom come, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I believe God is teaching us to decree the unmanifest word of God. Our prayers are basically the conduit to accomplish God's purposes. For application, hashtag prayer challenge. Every Mondays po, naglalabas po tayo ng prayer points. I want to encourage you to pray for those prayer points. And once a month, every third week of the month, we have prayer meetings. We have Zoom prayer meetings. Sana po maka-join din po kayo. Before we dismiss, just some quick announcements. Next week, we will be taking a two-week break. Actually, not just next week, but a two-week break on our Go- the Gospel Explained series starting next week to give way to our campus series. Ang title po ng campus series natin is Generation Ship. For the next two weeks, we will be talking about leadership and multi-generational relationships. We will be looking at the lives of Saul and David and how they viewed the new generation. And hopefully as we study their lives, we hope that we will intentionally set up the next generation to succeed in God's purpose for their lives. And last announcement again, as we dismiss, see you sa ating Zoom hangout. Bitly slash kamusta katip. See you, see you, Zoom. Receive the blessing of God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face towards you and give you His peace. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. See you next week. Bye-bye. Susie